All right, welcome back. We are on Forest Road 24, which we did like two or three weeks ago. Um, but it was just a horrible video with the sun, 1080p. So we're doing a redo in 4K. And I just had to stop and clean the, um, the windshield. So it should be like a hundred times better. I've actually deleted that video a few days ago. It was just too bad. I did not like it. But um, I think this will turn out a lot better. And it's one o'clock, so we won't be driving into the sun very much. I wanna say it was around four o'clock last time. In between that and the pixelation and the bug windshield, it was just nasty. It's a horrible video. I basically deleted it. I deleted about three or four videos because I had set them private and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to show these. I don't want people to think that this is how my videos are. So I finally deleted them. There's a couple more I'm going to delete um, also. Actually, when we leave um, the staircase area, of Olympic National Park. I'm going to film going to Hoodsport again and delete those two. This area is just really popular. I want it to look good. And I really like this area too. But we have the four-wheel drive auto back on. Yeah, my wife did not want to do this road again. It was really bumpy. I think, um, as a passenger, yeah, it wouldn't be fun. Oh, I better put the windows up. Some dust. I'll turn the air on. I want to keep the camera happy. This first part definitely has um, some washboards going up the hill, but once you get up, up, it was really just the potholes that were bad.
almost think the Olympic Peninsula, when you get off of 101 and go back in toward the mountains, is, that's the most isolated place in the lower 48, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's got to be equal to the area in Idaho, at least. I mean, you just can't get back in there. Ah, we're already to the turn. 24. 2480 is a dead end. I'm not sure where it actually goes, though.
thing about going this slow is you don't splatter any bugs on the window. smear him if I do the windshield wiper but he's in my shot oh nice he didn't smear I thought I would smush him <laughs> kind of left a little smear maybe Dusty. 
least halfway done already. We're coming up on the spot where we saw the guy camping and he had a hearse as his vehicle. <laughs> An old one, like it wasn't being used as a hearse anymore, I don't think. Oh my gosh, lots of potholes there. The road by Lake Cushman is actually worse than this. I will have to try and be patient on that. to be safe put it up a little bit it's not bad like that it just annoys me if I see more than the hood of the car oh first car of the day on this road forest ranger Our forest service employee at least. Oh, this was that nice camping site where the hearse was by the river there. So I think this is someone's land. Oh no, it used to be a campground. It's closed. I think it's permanently closed. Wow. Looks like a really nice one. That's too bad. That explains why I had this nice fence along the road there. I couldn't figure out why that was there. I thought it was someone's private land. Ugh, that's too bad. Ah, here's the turnoff for the hiking trails already. So Mount Eleanor, five miles, and Jefferson Pass, seven miles. On Forest Road 2419. Yeah, that's a long ways down that road. I'm not doing it today. We'll do it when it's sunny and we want to actually go hiking and everything. Awesome if they had um, road graded the Lake Cushman Road. 
I think last time we were here that I don't think the leaves were out like this either. They were still um, just buds in the trees. Forest Road 24. Once we get on the blacktop, I think this road is called Lake Christman Road. But I will see you in a bit.